All right, we're back at Universal Studios Hollywood. I'm excited to be back. We're gonna get some updates on the park, see what's going on. There's some updates, especially Halloween Hornets updates. There's a lot going on. I haven't been here for a while. But apparently they have some markers down for Halloween Hornets already to begin building the mazes themselves. So we're gonna, we're gonna go check it out. So come on and we're gonna get inside the park. So let's go. So we're inside the park now and nothing, it's not looking too bad. They have changed this from uh, the Lunar New Year too regular for some reason that's literally in there still so i don't know but, but yeah it's like it's weird it's like that's changed but this hasn't it's cool you know i appreciate it because they still have stuff that's, that could be sold so they're just trying to sell it but yeah it look, doesn't look that bad it looks like summer or spring is coming in you know whatever you want to consider because it is getting hot it is very not, it's like coolish right but once you get into the into the sun it's hot so yeah, that is what's pretty much going on over here. We're gonna head on over to the Fast and Furious construction site and get some updates on that. So we're gonna head on over there. So let's get going, see what's going on, what's new. All right, coming out of here, yeah, they've done a refur they're refurbishing and they have, they're getting everything refurbished for this because it is pretty old, I'm not gonna lie. That's where the VIP dining was for, you know, VIP people. So they're getting that refurbished. So I, I don't know, they have no timeline, no date, whenever when they're gonna get that done. But yeah, um, I'll update you guys, you know, when it gets refurbished. So yeah, the construction site, let's take a look. So they've done a lot of work here. They, there's a hole there now. They, you know, keep carving out the land even more. There is more construction going up there. They got people working up there. They got the crane they're working on. So yeah, they got the markers lined up all right there to start building. And they're even gonna start, they already, they're carving that out. They, they just started progress today even more because it was raining like a couple days ago. It was probably yesterday, honestly. It just, it was raining. So they car, they started work again because yes, when it was raining, they just had tarps over everything. So they weren't doing too much work. But yeah, they've done a lot of work the last time I was here. It's not too much significant, but just more like, you know, basic work, carving out, you know, getting it prepped. They still have some tarp up, you know, but getting it prepped for the ride itself, which I'm very excited about. So yeah, we're gonna head on over to some more updates, so let's go. I also do wanna talk about for Halloween Horror Nights, about the fact that, uh, you know, they're getting ready for Halloween Horror Nights, right? So John Murdy, the creative director, he already has a lot of, um, he already has created most of the mazes for this series. Like he has one maze remaining, right? So they're pretty much almost done with Halloween Hornets for this series, so. You know, here a couple of them are gonna be IPs. If you don't know what an IP house is, it's like a concept, you know, based on like either The Last of Us or a TV show or a game. Those are IP houses. Original houses are done by Universal, so the Universal Monsters or an original idea they created for a maze. So there's a couple of IPs and there's a couple of originals. And so we already got some hints of what it could be, but we are, do not have any official statement yet of what it could be. But we are, you know, John Marty could give some hints out to me what it could be. So, you know, that's pretty much what it's looking like for Halloween Hornets this year. It's looking very exciting, very happy for how it's going. I'm so excited to see any announcements. If any, if we do get any announcements, we can get the announcements within like the next couple of months. I want to say at June, we can get our first announcement. That's what I'm debating. Last year, they got an announcement early because of Chucky, because, you know, they decided to give the announcement early. But last year, the first announcement we ever got was like, you know, like, I want to say May or June, between April, May, and June was when we got our first announcement. So, you know, expect the announcement somewhere, maybe somewhere, most likely. That's how it, they usually do their announcements. So, yeah. See, as you can tell, um, for Halloween Horror Nights, right beside Mummy and beside, uh, you know, the T-pad, that's what people call it next to, like, when you're driving the studio tour, right behind, like, where you go on the path, if you take, if you look to the right, I might be able to provide a photo, um, they set up right there the maze for Halloween Horror Nights. so they already have both of them for the layout, they have, they're getting it ready for the layout just for Halloween Horror Nights for the mazes, so, yeah, that's pretty much the update for that, is getting really really into it now because they have the markers ready to build whatever they gotta build like the layout so it was really cool all right we're back down to the lower lot it's a busy day dude it's very busy i mean it is a saturday don't get me wrong but like it's very busy especially by the fact it's kind of warm so it's like other rides have been taking up like jurassic world's 100 minute wait because it is a little warm here so i don't you know it makes complete sense yeah it's very very busy i also want to point out um, panda express panda express has been closed for like a month now i don't know even how long 
So I don't know when they're going to reopen it. All I, I just hope they reopen it soon because like it's not bad, you know? I, I feel like what they're doing is, is refurbishment, which makes sense. It's been open for a while. So they're probably doing a whole refurbishment to it. So yeah, that's pretty much like lower lot changes. We're going to head on to the rides now. We're going to see get some ride updates. So let's get over. All right, we got our transformers. Everything's working fine. It's just the car we were in. It, uh, the, uh, the sound was so the sound was glitching like to the point one point uh, like the audio glitched out completely plus it's funny you know I make a note of uh, what you know what cars are working cars are not so you know we're gonna move on to another ride so let's get going all right so we got mummy updates there's nothing new too much uh, we did get mildly stopped um, in the ending scene they came on the speakers and said there was a slight delay and then like literally 30 seconds later they said it came back up and so they we started moving in it was a little little weird so i like it it was it was it was cool i was like trying to pull out my phone to see if i record it for you guys see if anything actually happens but then nothing happened so i was kind of disappointed but it's fine you know um we're just gonna head on over and do some other things so let's get going we're actually gonna head on over to harry potter um so then you know because there's construction over there for the lockers and for the main stage so we're gonna we're gonna head on over there so i'll see you over there all right, we're going to Harry Potter land now. Here it is. Not too much change other than this. They got the construction for the stage. They have, there's no set time or date of the refurbishment yet of it. But yeah, so we're just gonna keep an eye on it, see what's happening with it. And then we have the lock construction. There is, I wanna say significant change to it. Let me get a better look. So here's the lock construction update, right? They got, they've done a lot for it. So it's going along pretty good and there's no set time or date, but as you can tell, you know, from the look of it, there is a lot going on for it. So yeah, we're, um, you know, we're also going to get on the ride right now. We're going to see how it's, how it's going on the ride, especially about the dragon because the dragon's kind of broken. So we'll just see what's going on. So let's go. I do apologize. I do have to record this on my own about the fact that I forgot to record Harry Potter updates at the park, but essentially there wasn't that much going on at the park for Harry Potter, but the dragon, I did want to give you an update on the dragon. The dragon itself was working. The neck was working. It's moving and the mouth was working. It's just the only thing that wasn't working was the mist. But other than that, everything was working as fine. The mist effect, you know how it's a mist effect around the forest area? That wasn't working for some reason. And then we got mildly stopped because there was usually issues on like the loading line or something. So that's all that happened. And everything's perfectly fine in Harry Potter, so there's nothing wrong. So we're just gonna move on to the next thing. All right, we're going on to the studio tour now. There's a lot of updates, especially about the fact you know they're doing construction for the studio tour, it's the 60th anniversary. So they're doing construction on the War of the World scene and Earthquake, and about the fact that we can get a look at um, what I talked about earlier. If you watch the whole entire video up to this point, about the T pad, the location of the maze for Halloween Hornets. So we're gonna go check that out. So let's hop on the train. Let's see what's going on. So here's the update for the T-pad location or the maze location that is always here for this year. See, they have the markers out for how the layout's gonna work for this year. It's because they already have the idea for the maze. John Murray's already made all, most of the mazes. He's missing two right now, I'm pretty sure, or one. But yeah, that's what the markers are gonna be like. And then also, I do wanna include about the fact that as I'm editing this video right now, I got new information about the Studio Tour's 60th anniversary. They are starting to roll out new types of layout, not layout, but more like wrapped over trams because of the 60th anniversary they're going back to wrapping the trams how they used to back in the old days so it's very exciting and i'll put a picture on the screen so i can show you it's very cool so i'm excited to see what's going to happen for the 60th anniversary of the studio tour all right i just got off the studio tour not too much changes there's like you know the earthquake part we like you show i'll show it in the video earlier to now i don't know um you know they went completely past the park because they're doing so much construction on it right now. They're getting it ready for 60th anniversary. And then the World of Worlds scene, they're, you know, doing the construction. So we went completely past it. I try to show a video because I took a video of that too. But besides that, there's not huge changes except that they're filming for Bel Air in the sets. So we went completely past that. And so it's just like a little bit of a different route. So it's pretty interesting. So yeah, that's pretty much all the updates for the studio tour. So yeah. Yo, so I just went on Mario Kart, and I want to post this for TikTok wise. I hope this goes out to Universal. Dude, the game is so, part of my English, it's effed. It's so broken. Not, I couldn't do anything on the ride. Like, for instance, like, I, everything's working fine, don't get me wrong. But to the point where the whole ride, like, the, the game itself is messed up. Like, you couldn't do anything. It wasn't normal. Like, in the underwater scene, you can clearly tell you were above water. The VR, AR, the game itself is so broken. 
please, Universal, if you see this, fix your ride. Fix at least this card. This card number is 20, 26. Please fix this card number. Number 26, please fix this card. It is broken up. That is so, it's unplayable. It's unplayable. You can't play. It's just broken. So please, it's broken. Please fix the ride. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. So. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Good night.